on our last episode of Onboard Lifestyle. Basic left Bahia Mantichin and traveled south to Bahia Chacala. We put out bow and stern anchors to keep us secure in this tight, picturesque anchorage. The crew takes a paddleboard tumble on the beach. Everything kind of went to crap. Okay, come on, Rice. Do your magic. We enjoy the sights and sounds of Chacala. Lynn makes another memorable meal. This is pretty luxurious. And we even make a few new friends. Uno, dos, tres. On our last night. <laughs> that gets you caught up, so we'll start our story there. heading out this morning to another anchorage and this is um, it's been a great place with a couple exceptions but you know that's life um, and Teal is just picking up our uh, stern anchor and get us uh, kind of ready to head on out I can almost hear you thinking. Well, I'm just listening. I can hear the chain dragging over a, a rock. I don't know if this is like a coral. Like a shale? Yeah, something. I need to watch it. I'm not entirely comfortable yet on this. Well, the good news is, is uh, it's There's early enough that we can Oh, yeah. Re-anchor and find a, a look, better spot. We've got two miles of water before we drag anywhere. Yeah, I'll put an anchor watch and be careful. While we're here in Hatimba, there's a few things that we want to get accomplished. Number one being that our bottom needs to be scrubbed. Teal is down below right now just kind of checking it out. It's been about two weeks since we last scrubbed and that was in Mazatlan. So we want to just make sure that there's no extra growth or anything on um, on our bottom. The bottom paint works great, but you know barnacles are going to grow on it. So we want to make sure that nothing is hindering our transducer or our sail drives or anything. Typically, Emma is right there with Teal, uh, helping to scrub, but for whatever reason, she's just not feeling up to it. Which is really weird. So we're just gonna let her hang out. Uh, in the meantime, Teal's gonna be down there for probably about an hour and a half to two hours. That's how long it takes for him to do the scrubbing. And uh, I'll just be on standby, making sure that uh, if he needs something, I'm ready for him. We had some uh, reports from some of our friends saying that uh, better get your bottom scrub before you get into La Cruz because the, the water clarity is uh, pretty sketch. And even here, uh, the water's a little murky, but it'll probably be a lot better than La Cruz. Teal's doing the last scrub before we head into Banderas Bay tomorrow. 
and came up with an injury. Well, look at me. I'm Get up close. Look at this stuff. You well, you're see, covered in shrimp. I don't know what these little things They're are. They're shrimp. Little baby sea creatures. And there was a frenzy of little fish around me. And they were just eating the shrimp as I was knocking them off the boat. And they, one fish grabbed my finger. Another one grabbed my thumb, it looks like. Taste yummy. They, they're not after me, they're after the shrimp, <laughs> I think. Sharp little teeth on those guys, though. Okay. How's the bottom look? It looks good, actually. I mean, a few little barnacles right at the bottom edge, right, but just a sea scum is all I'm seeing. It's been almost a year. Yeah. A little bit of scum and slime, right? Yeah, and a couple barnacles. I mean, nothing major, though. I mean, we're getting in warmer and warmer waters. I'm expecting this stuff to grow faster, and it's... I mean, we're staying caught up on it. Water today the, is 80 degrees. I know. We jump in the water once a week. I think this uh, bottom paint will last a while longer. I know, but um, Bender's Bay is not known for clear waters. <laughs> I know. That's why I'm doing it today. <laughs> Here we are, anchored at Ensenada Haltembra. The ponga traffic has just died down. This whole beach was lit up all day with hundreds of people, but it's just calming down to a nice night. This anchorage, we're in 25 feet of water. It's a sandy bottom with a little bit of coral. Um, water's clear, 80 degrees. And I wouldn't stay here on uh, any inclement weather. It is not much protection. It would kind of just wrap around this island, but tonight it's very mild. And we've been here uh, in the past and we haven't had this opportunity to anchor here. And I'm glad we did today. It's kind of a neat location. We're heading out this way tomorrow. Punta uh, Demita will be uh, about 31 miles uh, around the point over there. And it'll be a good day. We'll try to catch that offshore breeze in the morning, sail downwind, and then uh, catch a little bit of that northwesterlies and try to hook it around that point. We'll see how it goes. It's supposed to be light, uh, you know, five to ten all day. But we'll do our best to, to push our way through. But for now, let's just kind of enjoy the scenery. Just a new place to take it all in. Well, it was good to see a new anchorage, but it's just been kind of an odd night. It has been really weird. I know. I mean, it's a nice anchorage again, but um, and calm. God, Emma was just acting a little off, and she didn't even have dinner today. I, she barely touched her dinner. I know. And it was such a nice dinner, too. She went to bed early. What is it? Seven o'clock? It's not even seven yet. And she's already in bed, so. Chances I think are. She's uh, coming down with a little cold. Oh, well. We're, we're heading into Punta Domina tomorrow. So let's just take it easy and relax a little. Cheers. Altembra. Altemba. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'll learn it one day. I'm just glad that the music kind of died off and everyone's back at home hopefully i know we have enough lights out that the pongos aren't going to hit us i think they're done for the day <laughs> okay yeah i'm just uh, i'm a little worried about her me too okay left the anchorage just as soon as the sun came up not a big day, but we want to get there at a decent hour. It's 32 miles or so. Light, light winds. It's 
calling for. We're gonna get a little offshore breeze in the morning and then it dies off for about three, four hours. And then we should get a little bit of a Northwest, maybe five to 10. So not a big wind day. So we'll do what we can to sail. But at least we can enjoy this beautiful scenery. Wish that I could stay When entering Banderas Bay from the north, you must swing wide around Punta de Mita to avoid a submerged rocky patch that lies half to three quarter miles offshore. Our passage today had a bit of everything, a light offshore breeze, stagnant air. But as we approached the point, the winds piped up from the northwest and gave us that perfect spirited sail the last 10 nautical miles right into the Punta de Mita anchorage. We set the hook about 200 yards from the beach with about two dozen other cruisers. Emma's condition was now deteriorating and she is now running a fever. Basics protocol is to isolate and quarantine any sick crew member to mitigate the illness spreading to others, regardless if it's a common cold or anything worse. little situation nothing to be too concerned about but uh, we had a great sail yesterday from Patimba to Punta de Mita it was really nice and our plan is to sail into a cruise later today and um, at that point Emma and I was uh, going to book our tickets to head back to the States I have to go see my parents and family um, and uh, we have been extra careful because with new regulations right now you have to take a COVID test 24 hours prior to flying into the U.S. And we really thought we were in the clear. We've been very careful and, um, you know, we were all set and ready. Well, last night after we got here, Emma started uh, feeling a little scratchy throat and fever. So we are being cautious and we're going to head in and get a rapid test taken for her. Hopefully it's nothing. Our lifestyle is pretty much, I mean, we, we do self-isolate and we're pretty much quarantined on board anyway, uh, yeah, we're, just yeah. by our lifestyle. But, you know, going into town and visiting with other people, you just, there's no foolproof way aside from just not being around people at all. So I'm making her a little chicken noodle soup. She's over in the isolation ward. Yeah, actually, uh, <laughs> the boat is almost, it's its set up pretty perfect for um, self-isolating. Oh, compass. <laughs> compass is not liking it because he misses Emma, but Emma's over here in the stateroom. I can pass food down to her. Um, she can pass or and let us know whatever she needs. We've cleaned and sanitized everything on board. Um, and we're going to hope for the best. I mean, I'm sure that it's going to be nothing. Emma is a very healthy person girl and uh, she very rarely gets sick and when she does she gets over it pretty quick so, so we're gonna go in get the rapid test just to kind of give us peace of mind or verify or verify and we just will um, we'll yeah. figure it out yeah regardless we're gonna play it safe and and <laughs> keep this boat nice and sterilized and it keep her happy is, and healthy it's usually clean anyways but I'm just being extra cautious and wiping everything down I already did everything this morning and last night 
We've been monitoring her and uh, she seems good. She's in good spirits. She uh, broke her fever last night. So uh, I think that we just have to. Yeah, now protect sure uh, us and everybody else. So yeah. just in case. And Compass is stalking the staircase looking <laughs> for her because normally she's up and at it at six o'clock in the morning and he hasn't seen her. Yeah, he likes his routines. Yeah. So in All the right. meantime, chicken soup. That'll chicken cure soup. everything. I think that <laughs> cures everything. Every time I make it, you guys get better. Or maybe you guys don't want me to make it. That's why you get better. <laughs> Either way, I'll take it. Are you kidding? It smells delicious. <laughs> We dropped a hook in the La Cruz anchorage. We felt like this was in our best interest to be close to services just in case Emma's condition worsened. And it did. We quarantined on board BASIC for the next five days and felt like we were in a good place for Emma to recuperate. She battled high temperatures, sore throat, earaches, and extreme exhaustion. Eventually her symptoms slowly faded and at this point we felt it was safe for Teal to head into town and purchase a rapid test. We really don't know what bug Emma picked up because her test came back negative. This area is currently experiencing a spike in cases, so we were comfortable following protocol. Emma is feeling much better now and is anxious to leave the isolation ward. I must adjust my mask. Emma, are you bored? No. I must clean the lens. Hello. Hey you! Am I pointing at somebody? Oh, that hurts my arm so much. You were so. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching this week's episode of Onboard Lifestyle. If you liked our video, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. A special thanks goes out to our patrons who make these videos possible. Join the crew if you can. With Emma on the mend. It's time to get a few things done before we leave Banderas Bay. So come back next week as we continue our story. See you then.